Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Apple Funk, and welcome back to the channel. First time guest. Welcome to you also. Thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, it's definitely appreciated. Let's get into it. Well, I'm hanging out with uh, Lady Funk today, and we were making pizzas. And so I said, well, I'm going to record me putting my pizza together. I haven't put out a video in a while with me doing anything other than playing the game because I haven't really felt inspired. No, Apple Funk's taking a break. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, let's get into it. We went and bought some ingredients. We stopped by our local central market. And, uh, you know, we got some stuff. So, we bought this crust. This crust here, I just pop it open. And I've got a stone heating up. I have a stone heating up in the uh, in the oven, so and it's at 450 degrees. Let me get this out of here. <laughs> we had a choice of pizza sauces. That store doesn't sell like like Prego or Ragu type stuff. It sells. You know, Mrs. Mrs. Jones, you know, this or so. Uh, like I said, Lady Funk bought two very two types. We got the rustic, the old world pizza sauce, and then we had the Casa Visco Italian pizza sauce. So we had to pick one. I picked this one because it had, it said if for any reason my, the taste buds don't find the light, and our old world pizza sauce just sent us the UPC barcode from this package for a full refund. So I'm like, hey, if we don't like this one, we get our money back. So, but it turned out that she really liked it, so I know I'll really like it. All right, so we'll put some, uh, let's put some olive oil on this crust. And I'm thinking, I'm gonna wrap that crust. And foil so it doesn't get too brown. Yeah, I don't know yet. This is a very democratic pizza. You know, very democratic. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Okay, so now that I think that I have coated this very democratic pizza uh, to my standard, we'll move on. Uh, let's start with some sauce. Let's put this sauce on. It came with three packs, so three packs for three 12 inch pizzas. All right, I uh, got some scissors here. We've done this before, not with these ingredients, you know, but a very long, 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 you're talking about many years, many, many, many years. So, uh, and we've stacked them before. We haven't made pizzas in a while. It's sort of a break, plus it gets you out, got us out of the house. So, let's put all this on here. All of it. All of it. I tell you, I'm getting into this show below deck. And, it's got me, so I'm watching that at the same time I'm making this pizza video. Because, you know, why limit yourself to doing just one thing at a time? <laughs> I always say. <laughs> uh, hold on. Alright. Let's get all, let's get all Italiano. Apple Funk though here, you know, you know, we don't want to get the edges, right? We want to stay away from the edges. We just want to push this right up to the edge. If I was a base jumper, I would go right there. Go right up to the edge. <laughs> okay. Look at that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right. So, anywho, that's done. That is good sauce. That is very good sauce. Mm. Okay. 
Next is going to be the cheese. You purchased fresh mozzarella. You know, a little block. So, um, let's get down on that and see. See what's cracking, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah that's what I'm talking about right there. I'm gonna show you. I mean, I'm gonna show you. Just you know, who wants the video where the guy cuts his finger off? You know, I don't want to do that video. That's enough cheese. Okay. So let's bring her back in the in the frame. So see what we did. We made it pretty. We made it pretty. You know, I need a something for my hands. I'll be right back. Stood up this night, my ankle was like not ready. <laughs> yeah, what is that all about? Okay, so the next thing I would like to do is I am going to add some uncured Canadian bacon. I have to chop it. Um, so I already cooked, it just needs to be. You know, it's going to get good and brown on there. So I'm going to move this plate into our, our workspace. And uh, okay, so we'll take what? Three pieces of this, you think? Two one of those. Uh, that's, two will be more than enough. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. Okay. Um, I should have got a dish towel, but I grabbed the napkin half because that's that's how you clean the hands with the napkin half. All right, now, yeah, this is where it gets dangerous. Okay, see, like I said, this is where you cut the this is where the, the host cuts his finger off. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be hilarious? I mean, I would laugh. I would sign off real fast and run. But I'm saying, I would. It would. It would still be humorous at the moment. Yeah. Let's put some. Uh, put some of his hand on here. We don't want too much. We want it sort of like. Sort of like one day you were walking through the ham forest. And it started drizzling little ham droplets. See, it's raining like little ham hamlets. Little hamlets. See? Hamlets. That's enough ham for Canadian bacon. Uh, next, I would like some mushrooms, but I have to rinse them real fast. So hold on. I'll just say the second. your mushrooms. Can't just use mushrooms out of the pack. So we gotta get the sand off of them, the dirt. So we got, man, you know what? These are pretty big, aren't they? I don't want like them. I like mushrooms, but not all of it in one bite. Let's break that up. So we'll put this guy, these guys in here. Right. Put a little bit over here. We got like a little dead zone here. We don't want it's like the demilitarized zone for a pizza. We're gonna line up our troops along the one the DMZ. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, so we got our mushrooms, we got our ham, Canadian bacon. We have our cheese. Um, we need to do some black olives. Because I like black olives. Thank you. So we'll just take a couple of those and, you know, very, like I said, very democratic. This is, this is really, there we go. And last for the Quiche de la Resistance, uh, we gotta do the pepperoni. You know that. You knew that was coming. Yeah. It's just one of those. I think this might be an extra. You know, when you tell the guy you want extra cheese and an extra pepperoni. I think this is gonna be one. Of those. I'm gonna put some. Oh, I'm gonna put some more cheese on top of this. By the way, we're not done yet. But, uh, but we want to make sure that we at least get ample, ample pizza penetration. Okay, so we'll put that there, right? Let's stick these right here. Let's get some more cheese going. Okay. I don't want it to be like total cheese, you know, but I do want things to be stuck. Okay, I think that's good. I'm thinking about when it melts where it's going to be. Yeah, so, a little more here in the middle, right? What did they do? What was it in the middle to stop it from getting soggy? You do? There's something you do to your pizza to stop it from getting soggy in the middle. All right, my phone. Let me get my other phone. I need to look this up. Hold on. I mean, some of you probably already know it. I knew it. I thought. Um, I need to cut off the power saving. I'm on call too. So. I'm gonna bought some new flowers. They were really pretty. I didn't put them in the room yet. I, it's hard because I don't have a permanent shelf built, but look at look at them. So, those are those are really nice. Those are really nice. Okay, so um, what are we doing? We're looking for this. Um, we're not gonna. We're not falling for this nonsense. Let's get this pizza into the oven. Hold on. <laughs> I'll wrap the um, edges in a minute after it cooks up. Okay, so we just pulled it out like one minute ago, less than a minute ago. I just had to get it set up. I didn't know how I was going to do it. And so, you know, uh, check it out. I'll, I'll bring it to you. Uh, actually, I should probably bring you to it. Yeah. That'd be better. Let me do that. <laughs> All right. So that's how she came out. And I'm fairly excited. Fairly excited. <laughs> so there we go. That's, well, nope. I have one more part, and that's when I'll, I'll let it cool. And then I'll slice it and I'll let you know how it turns out. So, you know, stand by for that. <laughs> okay, well, we've let this pizza cool down now for about five minutes. We had it in there for like nine, nine and a half minutes on 400 degrees. It's like four or 450. Let's see how it tastes.
I don't know why I don't have a, I had a roller, but we don't have a roller anymore. So. And we said today, why didn't we stop and get a roller? But, you know, it's purely afterthought. Can't do anything about it now. Okay, good, good. That's not the crust that's all soggy, too. I'm just putting this down. Some mushroom. That's good. Okay, so. It's really good. The crust is perfect. There's not too much cheese. It's layered right. It's not soggy at all. It's still crunchy. I don't know if you can hear it. Hold on. No. I can't hear it, but. Huh? I kind of bottom is. You might not have to hear it. I don't think I will. I think she might. I think she's up to it. But catfish and some um, jalapeno, uh, like corn fritters. Um, the macaroni and cheese. And I don't think that's tonight though. Maybe that's tomorrow. Mm. It's very good. happy that we did not order out. It's better than any order out I would have gotten. Serious pizza. Came out wonderful. Give it a try. So it was fun. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time.